Hello, horse lovers, and thanks for tuning in to the first episode of the Backyard Horse Enthusiast. Here's my barn. It's winter time and I'm feeding. I love it. Don't have to go to a gym. Don't pay a gym membership. And I'm close to my horses every single day. It's great. Oh, I love this barn. Yeah, it's old. It needs some love. But you know what? If that's all you have, believe me, you can make it work. It doesn't have to be the Taj Mahal. There's many options, as you will see in this short clip about shelters. And here's one right here. This is a shipping container that's been converted into a little stall of, of well, more than stalls, a barn. Look, you can you could do like the prior pick and have a really nice setup, or you can do this kind of thing. Here's a run-in made out of a shipping container and some posts. This is gorgeous. Not a shipping container, but I love that they're eating off the floor and it's clean. Um, another big stable. Wow, this is this is the Taj. You know, yep, I'd love to have that. I don't. Shipping container. It's perfect. One side's a tack room and the other side's a box stall. What, what's better than that if you only have one little pony? What else we got coming up here? My goodness, this one's running forever. Up next, this is two shipping containers put together. Not, not exactly together together. They've side by side with about 10 feet in the middle and they built a roof over it. So you have a middle aisle. Brilliant. A run-in shelter. I love these. Um, we had, this is very similar to the one we had in Scotland with the gates that you can either close it off or leave them open. I think it's perfect. This is somebody's like work barn unit, whatever you want to call it. Um, but, you know, a lot of these sit empty. If you're not running a business out of it, why not convert it into a barn? This is a cute little setup. The four box stalls with the four little paddocks outside the, their stall gates. That's going to cost you a little more, probably, you know, 20000 if you're getting somebody else to do it. Maybe less, maybe more. I don't know. It depends on, you know, your budget. I love these. This is Shelter Logic. $600. Gets them out of the elements. If they choose to get out of the elements, most of the time, they'll just turn their butt to the wind and they're fine. This is me with my hay hut. Um, I love this thing. It's about $850. Uh, we do square bales, round bales, small bales, depending on the season. And we also typically use a slow feed hay net on the larger round bales and the 800 pound square bales. This is my barn from the outside. That's my baby Luna. This is the side of the barn that is facing the pastures. It's like a run in. We can partition them off. There's gates and chains that you can just leave open for them. Um, they come and go as they please in that middle aisle that's open. They've got a livestock tank, a water hydrant, um, everything they need to be out in the backyard. Hey, thanks for watching. Tune in next week when we interview my barefoot farrier. Well, she doesn't do horses' feet in her bare feet, but she <laughs> keeps my horses barefoot and sound. We'll see you soon. Thanks.